Happy Combine Week, guys. The yeah. NFL Combine yeah. is this week in Indianapolis, so I want to know, Chris Fedor, <laughs> who's the guy you're most interested in in this Combine? Are you kidding me? The only guy I'm interested in with the number two overall pick for the Browns, it's got to be Jared Goff. And, and here's the reason why. There's a lot of momentum for Carson Wentz, and I think part of the reason for that is because he had the, he had the stage to himself at the Senior Bowl. Now they're going to be on the Combine stage. It's going to be all three of them together, four if you want to include Connor Cook. And that's normally the kind of stage where Jared Goff probably shouldn't shine because he doesn't have the big strong arm. He's not big and tall the way that Carson Wentz is. He's not overly athletic. Um, he does things in a different kind of way. But if he can shine on that stage and separate himself, it would be a great opportunity for Michael? Him. Well, it's got to be one of the quarterbacks, doesn't it, right? And I'm going to be very inclined to lean toward Fedor's side. Last August, I threw out Jared Goff as a guy to watch when everybody was Hackenberg yeah. and Cardell Jones and Connor Cook. I really like him, Fedor. I like him a lot. Now, I, I think he's got enough arm mm -hmm. to be able to show that he can throw that 18 to 23 yard out and throw that deep seam. And we're going to find out. But yeah, I mean, so if, if you want to say Wentz or Cook and throw that into or Lynch as well, fine. But Jared Goff is the guy that right now I think the Browns are going to hone in on. I'm actually genuinely curious to see where Braxton Miller ends up after Ooh. this. If he starts to rise up some boards a little bit, what people think of him. You tell us, who do you want to see?